Hello my fellow comic book collectors! Today is Friday and we do the Friday challenge on Fridays. So every Friday I basically put a challenge out to the community to find their best and then a theme comic. So the idea is um, last week it was legs and um, people you know put out their best leg covers and um, I showed my top 10 leg covers and then I do a poll to see which of the leg covers you like the best. And the one that won was this one. This is the one that got the most votes. Woman, Women Outlaws, number one. This is just a great, if you like the Can-Can, this is a great Can-Can cover. Just a really great book. A very rare book too, actually. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, so that was the one that won last week's challenge. But you're probably wondering, what's the theme for this week? Well, it is floating heads. <laughs> this is actually one that gave me a bit of trouble. Like I, I was thinking, okay, so this month I've been kind of doing different body parts. I did hands, then I did legs. Now I'm doing floating heads. So um, this has been a bit of a challenge for me. So I actually, you know, started scouring through my books and I searched the internet to find floating head covers. I'm like, oh, what? what's a good floating head cover? And, um, but then when I started actually going through my collection, I was like, hey, I have a bunch of floating head covers. And it's weird how once you start looking, you start finding. So um, I found a lot of really great floating head covers. And I kind of wanted to give you um, an example. Um, if you want to cheat, you know, um, a way of cheating the system. So this is not one of the ones I'm including, but it is a good example of floating heads. Uh, basically, it's got all the little floating heads along the sides. And this is a really great cover. Actually, this would be, it should be on the list, but I didn't put it on the list. I kind of wanted to make the, the floating heads the more focal point, but it is a great floating head cover with all the floating heads along the side. Okay, so this is what I mean by floating heads. They're just like a head by itself. Okay, so that's the first one to show, but it's not on my list. Another one that's an honorable mention, and I was kind of debating about this, whether it should be honorable mention or maybe even on the list, is this one. This is Wonder Woman number three. And you'll notice right up here, I'm not sure if you can see that because it's reflecting, um, is a nice floating head. It's just like this floating head and then you see Wonder Woman charging towards the floating head. So this is Wonder Woman number three and this is, is my honorable mention. It didn't make the list but it is one that I was debating about should I kick something else off in order to put this one on because I, I do like this cover. Okay <laughs> so we're gonna start out with um, the first floating head cover and it's this one the crow number one. Now, is this a floating head? That's why it's kind of lower on the list because it is a great head cover. But is it truly a floating head? Debatable. Because usually with the floating heads, you don't see the neck. And I feel like this one is a little bit of a cheat. Um, but, you know, it's, it's very head focused. And because he's wearing black, it looks like his head is floating. So I picked this one. This is the Crow number one. Very rare book. Sadly, my copy is water damaged, so it got a low grade. It only got a 3.5. So, but it is a very cool, cool book. Very rare. It's hard to get it in the first print. Great book. But this is number 10 on my list. The Crow number one. Next is... Now, this is another style of floating head. And you see this a lot in the Marvel books. And it's this one, uh, Avengers number 19. This is the first appearance of uh, uh, this guy, the Swordsmaster, or Swordsman, I should say. He was in the uh, uh, Hawkeye TV series. And it's it's a really cool floating head because of a couple things going on. I'm not sure, it's reflecting a lot. Sorry about the, the mylars are reflecting and sorry about that. <laughs> um, but um, you got the floating heads around him, right? But you also got, in the little box, more floating heads. So I thought that was kind of cool. So that's why it's on the list. That was kind of a cool multi-floating head kind of cover. So um, 
And this is Avengers 19. We got, you know, kind of cool floating heads. Okay. Um, another floating head. And this is, the reason it's low on the list is it's not quite the way I, you know, it is a floating head, but it's not, it's not quite as good as I would like it to be. So this is uh, the Incredible Hulk number five, annual number five. And this is the first appearance of uh, Groot uh, in the modern age. <laughs> or not modern, but he's, this is like a, like a Bronze Age. And it's like sort of the second appearance of Groot, I should say. Um, and, but you got this nice floating Hulk head. So it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of a cool cover. And it is a really good floating head, but I would kind of like it. But And it is the focal point, so it was kind of debatable about this one. So it's lower on my list, but it is a great floating head cover. So that's Hulk Annual number five. Now, I had to have this one mainly because it's just an awesome book. <laughs> this one is just like that awesome, awesome book. And it is a floating head and but it also has floating hands and I'll show you it this is Fantastic Four number 49 this is a great book this is the first appearance of Galactus so just a and you got I, I, I just love it when the, the the first appearance has the character on the cover you got Galactus kind of like with this nice floating head and you see his hands and he's obliterating the Fantastic Four so it's just, I think it's just a really awesome cover. Now, it's debatable. Like, a lot of people debate whether they like 49 or 48 better. I'm I'm in the 49 camp. <laughs> the reason I like this one better is you got Galactus, you know, his floating head. But you also got Silver Surfer on the cover. And, you know, 48 has Silver Surfer's first appearance. But just having Silver Surfer on the cover makes the difference for me. So I, I like this one better. So this is Fantastic Four, number 49. Okay. And that's... That's number eight on my list. Or number seven on my list, I should say. Now, this is not truly a floating head cover. But it is a great Golden Age <laughs> cover. Um, and the reason I say it's not floating, they're not really floating heads. They are, you know, they're attached to some bodies, but it's very like these kind of interesting heads. And this is um, Journey into Fear number 15. And this is a book that was mentioned in The Seduction of Innocence, so I'm a little bit partial to it. And you got the, you know, the woman in the red dress. It's always the woman in the red dress. She's always in trouble. She's, you know, maybe she changed her dress. <laughs> you know, I don't know, but she's always in trouble with the red dress girl. Okay, so um, this is Journey into Fear, number 15. And it's just a, it's a great, not quite floating head cover, but it's just a great cover. Sorry. Getting, okay, I'm trying to avoid the glare. And hopefully you can see it a bit better now. So yeah, I just really like this, this cover. Okay, so that's... Now this one is a really great one because maybe uh, this is number five on the list. It is... One that um, kind of overdoes the floating head because it has infinite floating heads. And I'll show you what I mean. It is WoW Comics number 18. And this is actually the first appearance of Uncle uh, Marvel. <laughs> so uh, kind of cool. Uh, but it's an infinity cover. So you got her on the the floating head of Mary Marvel. And then you got all these like books of Mary Marvel. And then each of the books, it's like the infinity cover of this. So it's it's kind of cool that it's an infinite floating head cover as a result. So this is WoW Comics number 18. I thought that was kind of cool that it's a infinite number of floating heads, <laughs> if you think about it. Because it, it is an infinity cover. So that I thought that was kind of cool. Now, one that actually I should have thought about this book. I just didn't even think about it as a floating head cover. But it is a great book, um, and it is a floating head cover, is uh, this one, Batman number 181. And this is the first appearance of Fo Poison Ivy. And so you got Poison Ivy. I like, I, I actually really like this book. Um, and, 
you know, she's just sort of front and center. But you got the floating heads of Batman and Robin, which is kind of cool. I I kind of like the fact that they're just like floating there and they're like uh, the trouble between the dynamic doodle. You know, it's like whether or not they're going to fight over this girl kind of thing. So that was the kind of cool thing about Poison Ivy. She's got that like, you know, power to seduce men. And it's just a really great, great uh, first appearance and floating head cover. So Batman 181. Okay. Now, still in the Batman theme <laughs> in a weird way, uh, my number three on my list is another first appearance from the Silver Age. Um, actually, is this? Yeah, I guess this is still Silver Age. Maybe Bronze Age. But I'm not sure when this came out. Um, but yeah, I think it's Silver Age. This is the first appearance of Two-Face uh, in the Silver Age. Um, maybe Bronze Age. I think this is a Bronze Age book. You can correct me in the comments below. Is this Bronze Age or Silver Age? I'm pretty sure it's Bronze Age. But um, it's uh, issue 234 of uh, Batman. And it is just a great, you know, you see... <laughs> Uh, Two Face's huge head, and you know, floating in the in the background. You see Batman; he's all in bondage, and he's like on the masthead. Uh, you know, and it's just a you know, just a really great, uh, you know, Two Face cover, floating head cover from Batman. So two Batmans in a row, but I thought that was a great one. Another really great one. Um, it's not. It's not Batman, but another major character is Spider-Man. And I wish I'd put it in a better bag, but <laughs> I paid $2 for it. Actually, I think I got it 50% off. So uh, I paid a dollar for this book. Um, so <laughs> this is a great floating head one with uh, uh, Spider-Man. And you got all the, the, you know, the Green Goblin and Aunt May and, and Mary Jane and... Um, uh, uh, what's her name? Gwen Stacy and, you know, Jaina Jameson. All the different characters are just floating above uh, Spider-Man. And it's just kind of kind of a cool cover. So this is um, 240, uh, 274. Amazing Spider-Man 274. I think it's a really great floating head cover. Okay, so that's number two on my list. And the number one on my list, I... I have to get a golden age at the number one spot. Sorry, but that's me. And I just like this head. <laughs> it's more about the head than, than the the floatingness of it. But it is a, just a really great kind of like... Um, this is a Web of Evil, uh, number one. And I believe it's like... Um, mm, it doesn't say. But I think it's a Bailey cover. I'm pretty sure it's Bailey. Um, but there's actually two floating heads. There's this one up here, and he's like kind of ghostly floating head, but also you got the skull head. So that's why I kind of liked it. And then, and a bit of a joke, but there's a floating head in the water. <laughs> there's actually a floating head in the water. It's floating, but not in the air. It's floating in the water. So I think that's kind of cool. So we got three floating heads, and um, I think it's just a great cover. So this is Web of Evil, number one. This is another book that was mentioned in The Seduction of Innocent as well. This is from 1952. It's a really great golden age horror book. So yeah, so that's, that is my number one on the list. Um, what did you think? Which one would you pick as uh, the, the number one floating head cover? So, um, and if you want to participate and do a video and um, kind of join in, you can you can just use the, the hashtag, um, I think I'll make it head covers, <laughs> okay? So hashtag head covers, and also use the hashtag Friday covers, and you can like join in, and it'll be like, I'll check it out, I'll watch your video, I'll comment on your video, and um, you know, I'll cheer you on <laughs> okay and we can all watch each other's videos so the point is let's have fun with it make some floating head videos of and look through your books and find some kind of cool 
uh, comics that kind of meet the theme. And hopefully it was fun. Okay, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.